Now let's do some applications of fractions. So we'll go straight into question one. Um, it says a bottle is three quarters full. One third of the uh, liquid is then poured out. So what fraction remains in the bottle? So we have a bottle that is only three quarters full. Now we are going to take out another one third of the liquid inside of it. So if I take out one third of the liquid, guys, how much do I have left? Well, if I take out one third, that means I'm only having two thirds left. So I want to calculate two thirds of three quarters. Because remember how three quarters is how much we initially have? So out of the three quarters, we're going to multiply by two thirds because that's how much is remaining now. Now, guys, when we multiply fractions, remember we multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. And, but if we can see if, some, if there's some common factors going on top and bottom, we can cancel them out and simplify it, can't we? Now you can see on the top we have 3, and on the bottom we also have a 3. So we can divide both top and bottom by 3, can't we? So let's start with a 3. So we go like that. And then we'll cross it out, and then it just becomes a 1. 3 divided by 3 is just 1, so we won't have to write anything. Same with this, guys. Let's cross it out, and then 3 divided by 3 is again 1. We don't have to write anything. It's just 1, isn't it? Now, I think we can go further, because 2 and the 4 also has common factors of 2. They're both divisible by 2, aren't they? So let's start by 4. Let's cross it out. And then 4 divided by 2, we all know that it's 2, isn't it? So the 2 stays. Now, this one, we'll cross it out. And then the 2 divided by 2 is just 1, so it just nothing has remained on the top. It's just 1. So let's simplify the multiplication of the fraction now. There's 1 and 1 on the numerator, so 1 times 1 is just 1. And there's only 2 on the denominator, so we just have 2. So half of the liquid in the bottle is left. We can say it like that. Make sense, guys? So that's what's happening with the fractions. Let's go on. Let's try question 2. Half of a land is being used for the house and two-fifths for the garden. What fraction of the land remains? So, we are taking out two types of land. One part of the land for the house and one part of the land for the garden. So, you can see that um, for the house it's two-fifths, oh, sorry, two-fifths for the garden and half for the house. So, in fraction wise guys, the complete the complete land, we'll call that 100%, which is basically 1. So that's why I put 1 at the beginning. 1 is a complete 100% fraction. So 1 is the total. From the total fraction, I'm going to subtract away half because we have to take away it for the house. And I'm going to also take away 2 thirds, so 2 fifths for the garden. And we want to know how much remains. So I'm just subtracting it away from the total fraction. So. In order to complete our um, subtraction of the fractions, guys, we have to make a single denominator, don't we? We have to make a common denominator, so then we can merge them together. At the moment, the denominators are all different, so we have to find the lowest common multiple. You can see that 1 is pretty much the same as 1 over 1. So 1, 2, and 5, what is the lowest common multiple of those three numbers, guys? It's simply 10. Hopefully you guys thought that as well. It's 10. So the 1... I can just make it 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 is still, um, is still just 1. But I chose 10 so I can have the same uh, denominators throughout. Now, the half. I want to make 10. 2 times what is 10? It's 5, isn't it? So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 5. And then you can see that it becomes 5 on 10. Yeah? Multiply numerator and denominator by um, 5. Now, the second, the, sorry, the last one. 5 times what is 10? 2. 5 times 2 is 10, isn't it? So I'm going to multiply the numerator and denominator both by 2. And then that should be the fraction that we get. Yes? So top becomes 4, bottom becomes 10. So now you can see all the denominators are now 10. We can just work with the numerators. What's 10 minus 5 minus 4? Hopefully you got 1. So it's 1 out of the 10 that we have remaining. Make sense, guys? So you make sure you work through that process when you're doing the subtraction of fractions, making the common denominator. All right, let's go further. Let's do question three. It says, from a box of lollies, Ben takes three eighths of, um, of the lollies and shares them am among equally the five friends. So he has five friends that he has to share these three eighths of his lollies. Now, what fraction of the lollies does each friend receive? So, we have five friends, and including Ben, how many people do we have? 
we have six people, don't we? So make sure you don't just say it's five. We have to include Ben as well because Ben needs some lollies as well. So totally there's six people that we have to divide these lollies among. So three eight is how much of lollies we have. We're going to divide that equally by six. I'm just going to divide it by six. Now guys, remember the division rule of fractions? When we're do doing a fraction divided by some number, we reciprocate the second number. So see how the second number is six? Currently the six, a whole number, basically has a denominator of one. So if I reciprocate it, it's going to be one on six. And now you can change the division to multiplication. Remember the division rule? You guys should be very good at this. Now we can go further and simplify. Remember guys, we can simplify anything on the numerator with anything on the denominator if they have common factors. And this is when we can multiply. So, 3 and the 6, I think there's some common factors. I think 3 and 6 both are divisible by 3, yeah? So let's cancel the 3, and then that's just gone, because 3 divided by 3 is 1. And let's cancel the 6, and then 6 divided by 3 is 2. So I'm going to replace that with the 2. So now we can't go any further, we can't simplify, so we'll just have to now do the multiplication. On the numerator, it's just 1. The denominator, 2 times 8, is just 16. So we have um, each person gets 1 out of 16 for portion of these lollies.